that are independently owned, ethically run, doing... I'll walk around for just a second and see how I sound. Sorry, I just had to cut because there was a really loud truck going by. Good morning, Internet. Wake up. It's almost beans o'clock, and you don't want to be late for beans o'clock. I'm your host, Dave, and welcome back to the Noisy Barstool Presents. Now, if you've seen my show before, you know that I like to bring to light places that are independently owned, ethically run, uh, doing something different, or bringing craft culture to an area you wouldn't expect to find it. And today we're taking a trip up Michigan's east coast just past the thumb, so right here if you're a Michigander. We're going to Augre, Michigan, where Cafe Espresso Bar and Bakery is bringing craft culture to Little City, Michigan. Alright y'all, let's go get our bean on. So, the first time I saw this place, I was actually on a trip with my family, and we were driving through this little town in Michigan, and out the corner of my eyes, I saw a coffee shop with Tibetan prayer flags around it, flapping in the breeze. And I was like, whoa, like a weird, crunchy, hippy-dippy coffee shop in the middle of nowhere, Michigan. <laughs> File that under places that are going to get my business later. And when I went back and finally had a cup of coffee, they did not disappoint. Cafe Espresso Bar and Bakery is located at 121 West Huron Road in Augre, Michigan. That's about two, two and a half hours north of Detroit. And if you're anywhere in the area, it is definitely worth stopping and getting a cup of coffee. When I was first traveling through the area, I was on a trip to see my home state with fresh eyes. I had spent a couple years down in Louisiana and going up north was a great reminder of how beautiful Michigan really is. If you're a Michigander, you might already know the area around Augre as a great place to vacation. Augre is just a few miles away from access to Lake Huron, canoeing and kayaking on the river, a couple of golf courses, and some great hiking and biking trails. And for any of my non-Michigan residents out there, don't be alarmed when you hit that sign right around exit 164 that says straight ahead to Mackinac Bridge. You got about 170 miles left before you got to worry about that. The Cafe Espresso Bar and Bakery has been open since August 6, 2018 and is family owned and operated. Now, by the time this airs, they won't have been open for a year yet and they're already killing it. The cafe has everything a good cafe should. It's got good quality coffee bean, delicious pastries, a really inviting dining area, free Wi-Fi, and a bunch of places to charge your devices. And as you can tell by the fact that I'm outdoors. It also has a really nice outdoor patio. Perfect place to hang out in the summer months. The coffee they serve is quality beans from Ruse Roast. It's in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And they have an assortment of different roasts for you to choose from at their self-service coffee bar. They also offer espresso and non-espresso drinks. In fact, the last time I was here, I was pretty caffeinated already, and they suggested a honey cinnamon steamer called the Honey Latte, and it was delicious. And as good as the drinks are, I have to say, the pastries are the real stars of this show. These just might be the best pastries you'll find in a coffee shop full stop, because everything on display is made right here in-house from scratch. Everything I've had here has been masterfully done, using fresh fruit and seasonal ingredients, which are locally sourced whenever possible. 
The shortbread is buttery, light, and crumbly. The lemon bars are next level with just a little bit of tartness. And the glazed cherry muffins are exceptional. And you can trace all the care and baking know-how to Lynn Rivers, the shop's owner and head baker, and Lynn's assistant baker, Olivia Dwyer. The ladies graciously let me ask them a few questions about their day-to-day -day and what it's like running a craft coffee shop in Augrain. It's obvious that stuff is made from scratch here, so I was just wondering, what time do y'all get in in the morning? Depends on how much work we have to do. Uh, in the summer, we were coming in at 5 before 5. Um, in the winter, not until 5.30, 6 o'clock. So it's not terrible. We don't have to bake everything every day. Everything is super delicious, but I was wondering if anyone's driving by, their first time here, is there anything you'd suggest that they try? Peanut butter cookies. The peanut butter cookie? Yeah. Peanut butter with sea salt. They're like truffly in the center, so they're soft and chewy. They're also uh, gluten-free. Oh. And we have a number of things that are gluten-free or vegan. So when people are traveling in northern Michigan, uh, you don't run into those options. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I got to say, they have been nothing but welcoming, and they really go out of their way to have something for everyone. Uh, the only other question I really want to ask is, why all great? Well, I grew up here, uh, born and raised, as my husband is as well. Um, I left for 40 years, pursued a number of other things, um, and then when I started coming back, you couldn't buy coffee, you couldn't buy good baked goods. And we were used, I, I lived in Ann Arbor, I still do, and I was used to buying good coffee and having a cafe to sit in. And finally, we got so frustrated, we said, well, let's open one. And those of us who are not from small towns but might be traveling through it cannot thank you enough. Oh, so great. thank you very much, Miss Lynn. And thank, thank you. you for letting me come in. Yeah, we're happy to have you. Cheers. Y'all come back. We will. <laughs> Cafe Espresso Bar and Bakery is worth a stop, even if you're just driving by on your way to other destinations. In a place where the next best cup of joe is at the local diner, they are bringing a care and craft perspective to an area that otherwise doesn't have it and desperately needs it. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed yourself on this episode of The Noisy Barstool Presents. As always, I'm Dave, your host, your tour guide, and your personal barista. Oh yeah, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook now. I'll leave the links in the description below. If you like this episode, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, maybe hit that little bell icon thing to get notifications. And as always, if it ever looks like your mug is half empty, that might mean you're just not drinking fast enough. Cheers.